good evening. It's Amanda. Hey, it's Mallory. And I'm going to come at you with some Carnival Cruise News updates. But first, Mallory's going to give a quick shout out. Hey, Josie and Amber, to our most dedicated fans. Yep. Thanks for joining me, Mallory. Yep. She's going to head on out while I do this quick little update for you guys. So, uh, I want to start things off with Carnival's masking policy. It is changing effective March the 1st. You will not be required to wear a mask if you are fully vaccinated with maybe a few um, exceptions at certain events or venues that haven't listed anything specifically. So we don't know exactly what that's gonna look like, but um, if you're fully vaccinated, masks will be optional beginning March 1st on Carnival Cruise Lines. So that's pretty exciting. Um, looks like we're heading in a pretty good direction there. Uh, next thing is on the Mardi Gras. They changed our ports of call from San Juan, Puerto Rico, to Nassau, Bahamas. So if you are cruising on the Mardi Gras, you may want to check into that if you haven't heard. I don't really know why they didn't really tell us why they did that. So that has happened. So if you're cruising on the Mardi Gras coming up, you may want to check into that for excursion purposes and so on and so forth. Then on the Vista, which we cruise on in 25 days, they have not officially changed our ports of call from Grand Cayman and Ocho Rios. However, we are hearing some murmurings that we are going to change from Grand Cayman and Ocho Rios to Mahogany Bay and Belize. So that would put us doing Cozumel and Mahogany Bay and Belize uh, instead of um, San Juan and not San Juan, wrong cruise. <laughs> instead of um, Grand Cayman and Ocho Rios, which is good. Um, we're happy just to get on a cruise in 25 days. This will be the kids' first cruise in over two years. So they're looking forward to it no matter where they go. And we're excited to take them again. And then finally, uh, the Carnival COVID testing policy has changed with them opting into the CDC's program. So if you are vaccinated, either with the Johnson & Johnson one shot or the uh, Moderna or Pfizer, and you are booster eligible and have received your booster, then you may test up to three days before your cruise. If you are booster eligible and have not received your booster shot, then you still have to test two days in advance. So if you're going on a Saturday cruise, if you are boosted, then you may test as early as Wednesday. If you are not boosted, you have to wait until Thursday, so you can either test Thursday or Friday. So definitely gaining that extra day, I think would be very beneficial, uh, especially if you are flying or if you've got a long drive or whatever the case may be. Um, so that's what's going on in Carnival's world right now and in our world too, we're affected by really all of this. Um, so we're looking forward to cruising and bringing you guys some more fun uh, cruise content. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the upcoming fun. And we will see you guys in a few days with some more cruise updates. All right, see you later. Goodbye.